Okay, I'm going to solve this system quickly because everybody worked on it through break, and I can't just leave you hanging. Okay, and you, you know, you all seem to be on top of it, seem to be enthusiastic about it, so let's do it. Okay, uh, so yeah, the, the whole question of laws of exponents came out of this, um, and we can use these laws now to solve this. And there are a couple of other uh, properties of multiplication and so forth that we'll use. Okay, so uh, this suggestion was, okay, let's solve for A in this one, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to use arrows to indicate that from this equation, in a very straightforward way, we get A equals 68 over 76.7 raised to the P, right? Now we take this and plug it in for A here, and out of that we get the equation 105 equals A, but that's now... 68 over 76.7 raised to the p times 31.4 raised to the p. Now, is everybody comfortable with this? Because mm -hmm. you're all, you all a little more on top of simultaneous equations than I thought you might be. Okay, and this is good. Okay, it speaks well of your classes, speaks well of what you know. Okay, so here we have this. Now, what do we do? I'm going to write this as 105 equals 68 multiplied by 31.4 to the p divided by 76.7 to the p. Okay? Well, you know, other laws of exponents like a, or let's say xy to the p is x to the p times y to the p, right? Mm -hmm. That works for any power, yeah. and you can prove that pretty easily. And you're probably used to that. And if it was x divided by y to the p, it'd be x to the p divided by y to the p, right? Okay. Well, that means I can write this as 105 equals 68 multiplied by 31.4 over 76.7, all raised to the p, right? Mm -hmm. And now we're done, sort of. Okay. We get, I'll let you work out the details. We get this. Clearly. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, just divide both sides by 68 yeah. and reversing the sides. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody's okay with that. So then how do we solve this? Well, of course, we could get numbers here. We could plug it into the calculator, but you don't need to do that just yet. You know, at the end you can. Uh, you can really do it at any point, depending on how much precision you want. You've got to be careful about that. But uh, this gives us 31.4 over 76.7 to the p. Again, equals 105 over 68. Well, if I raise this to the 1 over p power, and raise this to the 1 over p power, what happens? Well, the 1 over p power of the p power, you multiply the powers, you get 1, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 31.4 over 76.7 is 105 over 68 raised to the 1 over p, right? Yeah. Now, at this stage, you really are stuck if you don't know about logarithms, okay? So there's a rule for logarithms that I'm not going to give you now, but you're going to have to use logs to find the power of p, okay? Uh, and since not everybody is to the point of mm -hmm. understanding logarithms, which is something, what do you get in algebra 2? Do you get some logarithms? Um, that mostly in your uh, analysis? We went over, well, our math went over it a little bit in algebra 2, but mostly in pre-calculus. Yeah. Well, in pre-calculus, you do a lot of logarithms. But, um, okay, that's, in any case, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's what you get. Um, and I'll try to do a short video on how you complete that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but... Those, those are the steps up to the point where you got to use logarithms, okay?